it's Yobo. Welcome back to Life According to Yobo. I think this might be day 171 or day 172. You can watch these videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and you can get my books at YoboProductions.com. We're in the Mary and the Martha series, but oh, before I finish that, I just got to jump in here. We got to have ourselves a little heart to heart. I've been on vacation, not really vacation, I was watching my grandchildren for a week. So you know how it is when you got little people with you, you can't watch the news, you can't stay current on the events of the world, but I tell you what I did do, I did bebop to the Mickey Mouse song, the hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog song. I come home, sits down to get caught up on the current events, why was the headline story Josh Duggar? got himself not one, but two Ashley Madison accounts. For y'all who don't know what Ashley Madison is, let me tell you. That's the dating website for married people where you can have yourself a quote-unquote secret affair. Well, what happened was a group hacked into the Ashley Madison system, got the names of all the subscribers, and threatened to publish it. Before I go any further, let me say, my husband's name may be on that list for all I know. My name ain't on there because you got to pay to subscribe. Man, I ain't paying to find no man. I don't understand who got to pay to find yourself somebody. I would feel like a fool going online and paying to find myself a man to have an affair with. You can't find that at work. You can't find that in the grocery store. You can't find, come on now, but anyway. They got 32 million subscribers, so obviously somebody is doing it. If my husband's name is on the Ashley Madison list, we're going to be fighting because that's a waste of money. Dude, you can't find, you can't go to the movies, you can't go to the store, you can't find nobody at work for free. Don't be wasting our money. Shoot. Anyway, but getting back to this, Josh Duggar, what in the devil are you doing with an Ashley Madison page? What did we talk about? The last message, Mary and Martha, I told y'all, this is why I don't listen to church folks. When we get to talking all that Jesus, Jesus, Jesus stuff, when we put ourselves, those who put themselves way up on a pedestal, like they're all that, and quick to condemn other people that they believe the people's whose sins are worse than theirs, those are the main ones. The Bible tells us in Matthew 7, 3, if you are anointed and appointed with the gift of of finding fault in others. All that is, is just an indication that you got your own dirt going on. You got to turn around and look at your own life. I'm not condemning Josh Duggar, because I told you, I ain't mad at the man. Huh, everybody been a hoe at least one time, but I'm going to tell you what I ain't done. I ain't been the president of no council. I'm not putting myself up on the pedestal, and so I'm the spokesperson for family values. I'm not uh, getting petition signed to ban same-sex marriage. Now, if that's what I believed, if, if I felt like that was important, I'd be the first one going door to door with my petitions to ban same-sex marriage. But I ought not have me no Ashley Madison account. <laughs> not one, but two Ashley Madison account. And the freak of the week, okay? Day 25. A life according to Yobo. This is what my mama said. If you live in a glass house, don't throw stones. And I like what the uh, the message translation of Matthew 7, 3 says. Hold on, let me put it. I wrote it right here. It says, don't pick on people. We all know that whole story when Jesus said, if you're able to see the speck in your brother's eye, it's just an indication that you got something even bigger in your eye. And the message Bible goes on to say, don't criticize Unless, of course, you want the same treatment. That's why you don't find Yobo talking about the faults of other people. Unless it was somebody who was stupid enough to talk about the faults of people, only to get busted where you got not one, but two Ashley Madison accounts. None of us are perfect. So therefore, we don't have to try to make ourselves look good by belittling others. Don't try to make yourself look good by comparing yourself to somebody that you consider to be a worse sinner than yourself. 
If we claim to believe the Bible, then just do what Jesus said in Matthew 7, 3. Don't pick on people. Don't criticize people. Don't single out a group of people because you think their lifestyle is worse than your lifestyle. Jesus said to cleanse yourself first and then try to clean somebody else. Picking on people and criticizing people is not the way you change people. Like I said, when you got the ability to find fault with others, it's nothing more than a reminder that we need to go take a bath too. So as I look at Josh Duggar and his little old mess, that's my reminder that Yobo, you got yourself some mess too. But I tell you what, I keep my big mouth shut when it comes to talking about people and the stuff they doing and the stuff they ain't got no business doing. All right, y'all. Remember what my mama said. People who live in glass houses should not throw stones. Church people, just work on making yourself look good. In the time and in the effort we spend condemning others, Child, just work on your own life, okay? Work on your marriage. Work on your children. Work on your relationship with the Lord. Work on getting to church on time. Work on getting to work on time. Go volunteer at the convalescent home. Uh, c clean out your closet and clean out your pantry. Take that stuff down to the local shelter. There's so much more we can do with our time instead of criticizing others. And whatever you do, don't be talking about folk and then I got to find out you got yourself an Ashley Madison account too. I ain't mad at him. Like I say, he can go ahead on to be the freak of the week and be a hoe if he want to. Hey, we all done been there and done that. All right. Talk to y'all later. Come back tomorrow for more of life according to Yobo. Don't what? Don't pick on people. Don't criticize people. See y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.